okay, I buy a condo today. What will happen to the market value of the condo a few days after? If the company continues to add more assets into that REIT, that REIT becomes more valuable. If the price does not move, goes down, stabilizes, does not move at all, but the assets just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, that makes the value of what you're holding even better. And if they put that as part of the REIT and it's giving them recurring income from rentals, then guess what? Your dividends will be bigger. Hey guys, so as you all know, we're having the Fit Invest REIT listing happening very, very soon. And I made a ton of videos about that. Also, a ton of videos about REITs and how interesting and amazing it is for people who want to get passive income, who want to get cash flow for a very, very long period of time. As you all know, we're still in the midst of a lockdown and a pandemic. And then there's still a lot of uncertainty going on. And a lot of people are asking that, should I buy it? prior to the listing or should I just wait for the price to come out so that I know what's happening with the stock itself. It's very understandable because a lot of people are scared that if the stock goes down on the day of the IPO or the stock goes down a few days after it, sayang yung bilin nila dun sa listing. And allow me to share to you some of my ideas and thoughts regarding this. When a stock goes into an IPO, you can search it over and over from different iterations of companies that listed in the Philippine stock market. It all comes out different. Eh? Some drop during the day, then a few days after drop some more, then start to reverse and start to push up. While some have massive push-ups, consolidate a bit and push up even further. While some push up, consolidate, then drop massively. No one has a crystal ball on how it will go on a day-to-day -day basis. And there would be rules of thumb that the smaller the IPO, the smaller the listing, the greater the chance for it to go up, which we've seen it also happen. But we've also seen some smaller IPOs not really push up in a very, very consistent level. It's hard to predict. It's hard to forecast how it will go. That's why I've been saying this over and over. It will always be about what your conviction is and how much you know about it and what your strategy will be as you approach the listing. If you are an investor, what should you actually do? Buying REITs is very, very effective for those who want to be investors for the long term. Buying REITs is very, very effective for those that I want to buy, I want to position, and I want to use whatever I have to get passive income, to get cash flow, and to receive repetitive returns over the long term. You also have to look at it in a way you know, that it's a proxy to real estate, that if you enter the real estate market, you have to think about it this way. When you buy a condo, you don't actually liquidate it quickly. Eh? When you buy a condo, the longer you hold onto it, assuming that you had it rented out, the better the returns will be. You're not scared about, okay, I buy a condo today, what will happen to the market value of the condo a few days after? It doesn't work that way. And that's how your approach should be when you enter the REIT market. Since you don't know what the price of the REIT will be, you don't know how it will perform during the IPO, I highly suggest that you set your rules of engagement before you start to come in. And I can only share to you what I will actually do. And I can only share to you also what's important to me. And I've been saying this over and over and over and over that for me, buying REITs, it's all about the dividend yield. If the dividend yield is still very, very attractive for me, then I will still buy it. Check out also the price of the IPO. If at its current price, the dividend yield is already attractive to you, then buy it. If your goal is to earn passive income, and then the yield is something that is attractive and then it's at the price that you want even though you don't know what will happen to the price the next day even though if you don't know what will happen to the price intraday then it's worth positioning it too so please remember this even a REIT when a REIT came out last year it dropped eh? it went even below 25 pesos per share but as you all know the narrative there is this the lower it gets it doesn't change the money please remember every time you invest in REITs the contracts for the rentals are long term. So meaning, if the prices drop on a day-to-day -day basis, it doesn't change the rentals that you have there. It doesn't change your occupancy rate. It does not change the leases that they have for the long term. It does not change the tenants that they have. It takes millions for them to set up 
their offices there. The cost alone of setting up those offices and fitting them, that's why there has to be a compelling reason for those offices that are renting to get out. A drop in the stock price doesn't really change the fundamentals, especially if it's REITs, especially if it's just listed, especially if they place the exact details of how many tenants they have, what they're actually getting, what's the leasable space. They won't change from the day they did the IPO to the day they were disclosing those information to a few days after the IPO as well. If the price is already acceptable to you, then go for it. If the stock price drops, that actually means your dividend yield goes higher. If the stock price drops, that means the cash flow, the percent that you will get goes higher when you put in the same amount of money you will get more shares and as you get more shares you will get more dividends as well please remember the name of the game when you are buying REITs is the more shares you have the more dividends you will get and the lower you buy it the more shares you will get even more and the higher your yield will be plus you also have the ability to get capital appreciation from it so why am i saying this we will never know what the price will be over the next few days but what's important is that you have full conviction on what you're buying because if you believe in it so much and the dividend yield is acceptable for you and the tenants won't go lower prices means that i get to have a higher dividend yield when sentiment turns positive that will be my upside as of the time we're recording this we currently have two REITs listed in the Philippines, a REIT which dropped days after its IPO, then it started to zoom back up again. Then we have Double Dragon's Prime Meridian, which is currently, as of the time of this recording, still lower. So that being said, you also have to take this into account that if the company continues to add more assets into that REIT, that REIT becomes more valuable. If the price does not move, goes down, stabilizes, does not move at all, but the assets just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, that makes the value of what you're holding even better. And if they put that as part of the REIT and it's giving them recurring income from rentals, then guess what? Your dividends will be bigger. So what's my approach? I'm in it to stack. I'm in it to hold it. I'm in it that if it drops, I'll just add some more into that REIT with the main intention that I will get a higher dividend yield. If it goes higher, similar to what's happening to a REIT over the past few months, I have no intention to sell. I have no intention to sell because I treat it as a rental. I treat it as property that's giving me dividends and cash flow over a repeat period of time. Either you use your growth stocks, you use crypto, or you use trading to make your portfolio grow but at the end of the day you would need to have something that will allow you to take profits and my take profits is instead of buying stuff that I don't need I use what I get from stocks to buy companies that give me dividends and one of the ones that has the largest amount of dividends will always be REITs so if you're watching this regardless if you have been trading for a decade five years one year please do remember that if you just keep on buying and selling buying and selling and then you remove your capital then you will always be as good as your last trade you need to have mechanisms like REITs that will allow you to have cash flow repetitively for life but it takes discipline eh? stuff like this is boring stuff like this when you start investing and get cash flow from it it's not your 1000 times 1000 percent type of investment but this is something that will last for a very very long time so if it drops and then you know the fundamentals if it drops and you know that the long-term trajectory of it is good if it drops in price and then the rentals will still be there if it drops in price and you think hindi sila mawawalan ng tenants and it will just stay where it is and then their plan for the company or the REIT is really good for the long term that they plan to add more assets then you shouldn't be scared then you should actually have cash that you can use that cash to deploy and add more and build the base it's better to earn 8% having 10 million placed in than 8% having 1 million placed in. So please remember this, the 8% is the responsibility of the company. The 8% is the responsibility of how good the company is. But the 1 million and the 10 million, that's your responsibility. It's your responsibility to deploy capital in that investment. And at the end of the day, the stock market is still all about volume. It's not about how much percent you get, but it's all about how big of an allocation you place into an asset that you really, really believe in, how big of an allocation you place on an asset that will give you the ability to get dividends repeatedly over the long 
term. I'm not a real estate person. I'm not an expert on real estate, but I do know stocks. I do know the equity market and I will always deploy capital on things that I know more. And that's why I've been placing more and more into dividend paying stocks and in the same way also into REITs. So that's my approach into it. If it goes up, the dividend yield is still good for me. I'll stack at the IPO. I'll stack if it drops. I'll keep on adding more because it will make my dividend yield higher. That's because I understand what it is. That's because I took the time to study. So please remember this. You can watch all of the videos here, but you cannot take the conviction that I have and the research that I have. So I highly suggest that after this video, do your own due diligence, study, research. If it does not fit you, then you don't have to enter the trade at all. But if it fits you, then by all means, go for it. If it's something that you know that you understand, you can tolerate and fits your time horizon and the risk tolerance that you have, make the trade, go for it. But if it doesn't, there's other investments out there. And please never ever buy just because we discuss it here. It's your money. It's your responsibility. Please take the time to learn. Please take the time to build the competence for you to be able to be successful in the markets. Are you guys buying the next REIT listing? Is this something that appeals to you? Is this something that you will invest in? Put it in the comment section below and I want to hear your thoughts. If you have other questions, put it in the comment section or DM me via Instagram and Patreon. If you guys want to join my fundamental analysis, this course it's happening this August links are in the description below and our last technical analysis session for the year which is happening this October links are in the description below as well and if you want to read my books check it out via Lazada and Shopee and lastly if you want to trade US markets you have gold trade for one dollar you have Binance for cryptocurrencies for 10 US dollars and for the Forex markets we have XM where they're gonna give you also a 30 US dollar bonus if you sign up and register with them which that amount you can use for your trading with them as well so that's it for now I hope that this is something that's insightful for you just so you know I'm a big fan of REITs that's why this discussion is framed under the context that I'll just keep on buying REITs I'll just keep on stacking REITs I'll just buy as much as I can into an asset class that I know will give me passive income for a very very long period of time because that's what matters eh? build as much assets as you can so that you can have passive income so that when you can no longer work for yourself you have assets that will work hard for you because at the end of the day that's what matters the most assets could give you volatility assets could probably go down also for a short period of time but if the asset is amazing if the asset is good over the long term it will give you rewards as well so that's it for now this is marvin germo i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all